All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakurash, that will honor to our elders and apostles of great meals so that I do it well, and salutations and blessings to you, Akim, that are pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and charity, and risk your lives to do so. All right, today I want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, is all powerful, or Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai is a in control of all things, you know, because this is something, Salakia. <coughs> That was something that I was explaining to someone uh, the other day, you know, that hey, the Lord is truly in control of all things, man. And it's just, hey, these people can't fathom it. They just can't understand that their lives and the entire planet Earth, the kings, the animals, everything is in the wheel of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Okay, so you see certain things happen on the planet Earth, like when people die, babies die, all right, people get uh, struck with, with uh, weird illnesses and people are born with weird defects and all this stuff, man. That's of the Lord. That's of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. These things do not happen by coincidence. There is no such things. There is no such thing as a coincidence. Right? It's the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that's governing everything at once. All right, whether you can receive it or not, whether you can understand it or not, <clears throat> it's truly. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai doing this, man. So any further ado, I'm gonna jump into it. Cause that's 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 a very hard concept for our people to understand and for them to get. That hey, it's 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 the Lord that's controlling everything. And really the only one that's gonna get it is the elect. Right? Romans 11 and verse 7. Everybody else is hey, they're just in darkness, wandering around, guessing. They say, well, you know, I I I'll take that in. And then they'll go and believe some other bullshit and try to mix everything together. No, man. All right, this is what it is. So this is Sirach 18 and 1. It says, he that liveth forever have created all things in general. Right? And who, who is that he that lives forever? <clears throat> this is Deuteronomy 32, verse uh, 39. It says, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. All right, that is the Most High, the Most High Yahweh. All right, he is the Most High God. It says, I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So the Lord heals? Yes, the Lord kills, man. The Lord is the one that makes alive. He's the one that wounds people, puts people through horrible situations, a, a, a makes someone poor. He's the one that a, a, a gets somebody jacked up, man, put judgment on, on, on a person, a, a have somebody uh, mistake. You know, you're, you're getting mistaken for being somebody else. Now you're getting jumped on by 30 dudes. Hey, that's the judgment of the Lord for whatever weakness that you did, man. That's of your Yahweh Shem Al Shai. Or of the Lord. Heal someone. Take someone out, out of an infirmity. It's of the Lord. Everything is of your Yahweh Shem Al Shai. He's all powerful in control of all things, man. It says, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hands. So there's no one that can deliver you out of the judgment in the hands of your Yahweh Shem Al Shai. All right, whatever it be, judgment. Or whether it be salvation. All right. No one can take you up out of the wheel of the Lord, man. It says, for I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. So the Lord lives forever. He is the almighty power uh, that never dies. And he is the one that governs and controls the entire planet Earth. So that's him. Yahweh Bashim al that that Sirach is referring to. <coughs> Sirach 18 and 1 says, he that liveth forever. Have created all things in general. So he created everything in general, man. It was of the spirit of Yahweh that had these things be ordained. Through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who created the rest, the, uh, the rest of all creation. All right. It was Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai created the angelic forces. And they uh, uh, created the entire universe, man. And everything that you see right now. The air that you breathe. The water that you drink. It's all of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai says the Lord only is righteous and there is none other but he all right all his judgments that he, that he brings forth on the planet on the planet earth are righteous man whether it be evil or whether it be good it's righteous it's just okay it's justified man anything that the Lord does is is, is a justifiable cause it says and it says and there is none other but he right going back to that Deuteronomy 32 all right it's only Yahweh Bashim al Shai governing Go governing the entire planet Earth. A man does not step outside of his will. 
You think Esau want to go down? <laughs> Hell no, nah, he don't want to go down. He holding on to this kingdom with everything that he got, man. But it's going to fall. It's going to go down. Because it's the wheel of Yahweh Hashem al Shai. Revelation, the 17th chapter. Revelation, the 18th chapter. The Lord's going to have these nations come against Esau. America, Babylon, the great. NATO is going to turn on this place. And we're seeing that happening right now, man. Right before our eyes. And they turn on this place. Then eventually it's going to get to a point where they're just going to get, they're going to hate the whore. They're going to, they're going to get tired of this place. And they're going to push those buttons. Russia is going to push that button. They're going to send missiles on this place and destroy this place, man. And that's the wheel of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Because what? It says that Yahweh must must with the host of the battle. It's the Lord that's controlling the minds of these kings. This is um, Proverbs 21 and 1. It says the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. And we just read in Deuteronomy. No one can deliver you out of his hand. There's none other but he. A, the, the, the minds of these kings, which is, a, your heart is your mind, goes back to the Hebrew word lob. Which is mine, right? Because you don't think with the organ that's in your chest pumping blood through the rest of your rest of your body, all right? It's your it's your mind that you think with, all right? So the Lord has the minds of these kings in the palm of His hand, making them do whatever He He wants them to do, man. Whether they feel like they can, you know, they're thinking on their own, or whether you feel like you're thinking on your own, because it's of the Lord. Everything is of Yahweh Shemal Shah. Proverbs twenty four, uh, twenty four. Proverbs twenty and verse twenty four. It says man's going, man's goings are of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? Okay, so a every way of a man, woman, every way that you walk, everything that you do, every thought that you have in your mind, all right, it's all ordained by Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Whether it's a negative thought, a good thought, all right, the Lord put it put it inside of your mind, man. Through angels, through left through left hand angels, evil angels, it's all of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, man. All judgments, hey, anything that comes forth is of the Lord. Very simple. Proverbs 21, verse 1 at the top again, it says, The king's heart is in the hand of is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turned it whithersoever he will. So the Lord is controlling all things at once, man. He has everything in, in the palm of his hand, a, 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 a pushing it wherever way he wants it to go. Hey, these kings, they don't they don't think on their own, man. They ain't doing on, they ain't doing nothing on their own. Esau Edom ain't doing nothing on nothing on his own, man. Moab ain't doing nothing on his own. It's all of Yahweh Hashem Al Shah. Hey, truly all powerful, truly a hey, the the Most High God, man. A real God governs reality. A false God is a hey, hey, he 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 ain't doing shit. <laughs> That's what these idols doing, man. They ain't doing a goddamn thing. You got cheesy rice, right? as like uh, the brother Shakaria likes to say, cheesy rice, man. Hey, we all know who I'm talking about. Hey, this dude ain't doing a damn thing, man. But sitting on your grandma's uh, wall, sitting up in the churches, uh, all up on the church wall, over there in Rio, uh, uh, yeah, over there in Rio, giant statue of him, getting shitted on by a bird, man. He ain't doing nothing. A fucking idol, all right? But Yahweh Shem Al Shai is the real God, man. That is governing and controlling everything. Sirach 18 and uh, verse 3 says, Who governed the world with the palm of his hand? And all things obey his will. And all things obey his will. Everything is in the will of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Nothing steps out, nothing steps out of the boundaries of the Lord, man. Hey, it says that who, who have resisted his will? No one. Can nobody resist the will of the Lord, man? He's the most high. He's all powerful. What can you say against the Lord? <laughs> oh, I don't want to do that. No, nah, I changed my mind. I don't want to do that anymore. No. You're going to do exactly what the Lord wants you to do, man. All these kings are going to do exactly what the Lord wants them to do. Because, hey, truly, hey, hey, don't keep going. It says, for he is the king of all. Truly, how about Shemal Shai is the real king over, over the planet Earth. He's controlling everything. He's the one that's sending this out. Go do this. Go do that. Do this. Do that. He's having, his, he's, he's having his angels manipulate the minds of these people, making them do this, making them do that. And the Lord says he's going to put spirits of vengeance on these people. Spirits of vengeance are going to be released out here. It ain't, it ain't the, 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 the thought of these people's mind, their own intent. It's the intent of Yahweh Hashem Al Shah. That's what the Lord wants them to do, man. And the intent of these kings is what the Lord wants them to do. 
says, by his power, dividing holy things among them from profane. Right. And the Lord has a separation. He has his elect. He has the wicked. He has two thirds of our people. OK. And this is all in, in, the, in, the, in the power in the hands of Yahweh Hashem al Shah. It's not, it's not, hey, these things do not happen by coincidence, man. You know what, hey, some by people can hey, hey, get this, which is the elect. And some just will never understand, they just will never get that Yahweh Hashem al Shah is truly hey, the, the real God, man. He's all powerful, He's controlling everything, and that's what a real God does. There is no free will, there is no hey, hey, your own thoughts, man. Things that you things that you want to do and you just doing it all perfectly. You made it home just because you made it home. No, that's because the Lord allowed you to make it home. You know, you eating a meal because hey, you you're you're so you know uh, uh, good at good at being financially well off or whatever it is, man. And it says that the Lord is the one that uh, raises it up and set it down. It's of your how about Shemal Shai? So, hey, man, yeah, I just wanted to put that out real quick. You know, I'm about to head out to work or whatever, man. But, hey, I just pray this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakurash, that will honor to our elders and apostles of great meals and I do well. And salutations and blessings to you, Akim, that are pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and charity, and risk your lives to do so. Shalom, wa, ababa, ball.